Fantastic. My name is Chloe. Um, I haven't really gigged much in Australia, and I'm sort of worried that some of my cultural references are going to get lost. Um, for example, I'm a lesbian. Um, do you guys have that here? <laughs> Fantastic. We've got some down the front. Pink hair, I can see. Um, I, uh, I am a butch lesbian. I love butch lesbians, um, not in a gay way. Um, no, I, I don't sleep with butch women, not because I don't find them attractive, it's just logistically very difficult to get two butch lesbians in the same room together to have sex because we're just perpetually walking each other home. <laughs> <laughs> She'll get me to my door and I'll be like, well, I uh, guess I better be getting you home there, little lady. <laughs> the little lady in question is a 150-pound hockey player named Rock. I'm, uh, I'm trying to embrace my femininity slightly more because I think I've got too masculine. Um, like, even the sort of traditionally feminine things I do in quite a masculine way, like menstruating. <laughs> I would say that I approach my period the way I approach, like, a leak in the ceiling. <laughs> Patch it up, buck it under, hope it doesn't come back the next month. <laughs> One of the things that I've been trying to do to practice my uh, femininity is I, I got invited to a nail painting party. Um, I would like to clarify that I'm not friends with 12-year-olds. <laughs> but I am friends with women that have sort of entered their mid-30s. And what these women wrongly think is that they're losing their last vestiges of youth and they get very nostalgic for the last time that they perceive themselves to be youthful. So they start doing stuff from their teenage years, you know, nail painting parties, Bluetoothing ringtones to one another, <laughs> calling each other frigid, that sort of thing. Um, <laughs> So I went to this nail painting party and I was feeling very masculine, very toxic, so I stood in the corner going, nope, no way am I getting my nails painted, no way am I getting my nails painted, that's for girls, right? And a friend came over and was like, Chloe, I think you're being very toxic right now. You know that it's not just for girls, you know that anyone can get their nails painted if they want to. I think what's happening is you're feeling emasculated and it's making you act out. I said, I'm not getting my nails painted. Last time I got my nails painted, I felt like a dog in socks. And if you don't have that image in your head, you've got some wonderful tiktok to do after the show. <laughs> they sent a different friend over who knew me slightly better, and she went with this tactic. She said, Chloe, I promise you if you get your nails painted, it will make you like ten times better at fingering. <laughs> now, logically, I know that there's no correlation between those two things. <laughs> but Melbourne, there was a part of me that was like... All right, I'll take two. Make that three. <laughs> and you do a couple of the toenails too. <laughs> Sir, on the end of the road, do you think you'd call it um, towing or, or, or toe fingering? <laughs> you like towing? <laughs> what I like about you is you really thought about that for a long time. <laughs> it's towing. I think it's towing too. Great. The other thing that I've been trying to do to embrace my femininity is I've started practicing flirting with men. Um, that's what that was. <laughs> how was it for you, baby boy? I will be calling you. I will be calling you, baby boy. How, how did you find it? Unreal. Unreal. <laughs> I'm actually buzzing with that, that's really nice. No, because any time I've tried to flirt with men in the past, I flirt the way that I imagine flirting happens in prison. <laughs> like, I'll find a man that I perceive to be physically weaker than me, probably in the shower, and go, you're mine now, princess. <laughs> but recently, I so effectively flirted with a man that something quite awful happened, um, which I didn't realise was still happening in straight culture. I'm so sorry that ladies have to go through this. I flirted with a man. This man tried to kiss me. I'm going to repeat those words. A man <laughs> tried to kiss me. My genuine first response was, all right, back off, mate, I'm not gay. <laughs> no homo, mate, that's fucking disgusting. <laughs> the only time I'm homo for men um, is... <laughs> Correct, it is a funny sentence. <laughs> The only time I'm homo for men is very occasionally a gay man will mistake me for another gay man and try and get with me. I fucking love it. <laughs> I love it so much. It makes me feel so masculine that that tiny little twink thinks I'm man enough to bum him. <laughs> Guys, you've been absolutely brilliant. I've been Chloe Pets. Good night. Thank you.